Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we've got Nürburgring Blast and last week uh, Gran Turismo 7 added a quirky little car in there, a K car called the Suzuki Cappuccino, a kind of car that I remember from Automobilista days. Anyway, um, yeah, what I'd like to do is take that around the Nürburgring and see how fast it is. Now, remember, Nürburgring Blast rules is this car is completely stock, nothing done to it, and we're doing it with no HUD, no assists, and a manual gearbox. So it's going to be interesting to see how this gets on. So um, put a comment down below how fast you think this is going to go, because I think this could take a little bit of time. We're definitely down on par. So let's get to it. Right, Suzuki Cappuccino versus the Nürburgring. The s slowest car that we've done recently around here, that's for sure. I don't think it will be the slowest. But second gear out the final corner and power. 8,500 RPM, the red line, up into third. And there we go, we actually start the lap now. Right, on the brakes, back down to second for the first corner. Rear end wants to overtake us. Oof, nearly went round then. Right. Down we go. Listen to this engine sing though. Ready? It's not quite a tuneful V12, but uh, I suppose it's what we've got. Right, a bit of grass there. Right, up to fourth though, so hustling. Down to third for the first of the technical sections here. Actually got a bit of a four wheel slide there. Front was sliding as well as the rears. We want to try and avoid that as much as possible. We really want to conserve the momentum round here. Use all the track. Right, dabber brakes, hold it in third, focus on the exit, come on power. There we go, and off towards Flungplatz, here we come. Look at that, that's 120 kph. And that's fourth. I don't even know if this car has a fifth. I suppose we may find out at some point along here, if we drop it off the side of the cliff, maybe. Right, flat out, Flungplatz, easy flat. Easy flat over the top here. Car not really accelerating too much. But look how low we are. Uh, you can, literally the guardrails are in eye line with us. Yeah, like the top top guardrail is where our head is. We're so low down in this little diddy thing. Right, flat out. Almost would have fifth if there is a fifth. I, I, I don't really want to check. I don't want to lose the momentum. Right, Schrödingkreutz is flat. Yes, it is. And then hard on the brakes. Going to go down to third. Try. There's a bit of understeer as we try a bit too hard. Back on the power. Come on. There we go. Use the curb to rest the slide. Right, flat out through the foxholes. Here we go. Try and keep a nice smooth line through here. Try and spot that straight line. May get fifth down here. Not quite by the looks of it because we're going to be down through the compression. Now we've got to go back uphill. We're going to have a dab of break. Get up over that kerb. There we go. Down to third. And then we're going to need second for the chicane, I think. There we go. All oh, the rear ends come out. Just try and gather up that slide. Right, power. There's 60 miles an hour at 100 kph. God, this thing is slow. But it's entertaining. I hope you're entertained. Right, Rebel Tree. We'll take fourth. So we go past. Right. Flat out for this next left. Try and use camber. Yes, we can. And then back on the brakes. Down to third. Get the nose in. Front and rear wants to slide a bit there. We can hop the curb a little bit there. Right, downhill braking. We want to brake just enough. Not too much, though we just don't want to lose any of that momentum we've built up right flat out now come on little Suzuki there we go up to fourth we've got miss hit miss now there we go we're gonna have a dab of brake just to get the weight over the front tires there we go there's the first apex miss the last apex great right into the slowest corner on the track down into third rear end wants to swap over with us second get the car round I am foot to the floor now in second. And that's third. Right. Second entrance. We can see the cars camping in the field up to our right. Here we go down the hill. Going to hold third. 
bit of braking just get the weight over the front tires they are diddy little tires at the front and uh, comfort tires at that as well right up the hill we go on the power I am flat out at this point are we still accelerating we are okay well, I mean color me impressed right nearly to 300 uh, 320 kph this car wishes that's 120 kph we'll take fourth louder kink it's as if it isn't there right gonna get hard on the brakes down to third gonna try and float in in third understeer there I am foot to the floor already way back in that corner there we go right this is gonna take a while now this is a long uphill stretch we may get fourth but it depends on how steep this corner this hill is for the cappuccino that's 120 kph should we take fourth I'm gonna chance it there's fourth oh yes oh yes look at that power this car's got plenty of torque look at that We're almost 140 kph there you go, the speedo's maxed out. She's holding. I suppose there isn't a lot of weight here. But it's taking a while. Almost at Bravery Corner up here. Nürburgring looking lovely and green at this point. Should we do a Bravery Corner flat out? Oh, easy. Easy flat. Like a dream. Like a race car. Right, up over the rise. And then we're going to have to eventually get back on the brakes at some point. There we go, we can see the start of the carousel section. Going to get back on the brakes. Going to go down to third. I'm not sure whether I'm going to try second. A little bit of understeer there. But it's got good torque, you know. Right, towards the carousel we go. Up over the little rise. I think we might need second for the carousel. Going to get back on the brakes. We'll take second. I'm actually accelerating through the carousel. Come on. There we go. Right, up into the roller coaster section. Best part of this. Now, I think we're going to struggle here because this is where there's a lot of undulations. So, any time that we shed too much speed around here is really going to cost us. Come on, up this hill. Holding, what, third at the moment? Is it flat through here? Oh, yeah, she's easy flat. Easy flat. Nice, 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 nice. Dabber brake. Get that weight over the front tyres. There we go. And off we go towards Vipperman. I don't think we're going to be flat through Vipperman. Do I take fourth? I'm actually going to leave it in third. Lift off, get the weight, transfer. Try and get up over those kerbs. Try not to unsettle the car too much. And now we'll take fourth. And then I'm going to have to go back to third for this corner, I think. It seems like the car gets a bit breathless at the higher RPMs. I'm scared of going into a higher gear and then l losing all power and getting the car bogged down. Right, Brunchen. Yes, wave to the fans. You can wave in this kind of car. It's not the kind of car that it's over in a flash like the last couple of cars that we've done around here. Right, third gear is nice and flexible through here. Enjoying this. Oh, we've gone in a bit too deep into there. There we go, lost a bit of time there, got nowhere near the apex. But torque is good. Pulls us out of it, eventually. Right, second jump. Let's see if this is a jump in this car. Not really. Oh, front tyres squealing in agony there. Right, up over the rise. Oh, we're all over the kerb there. Right, down the hill we go into Stefan Belafes. No air again. Nice and controllable. Actually just cutting a line. Shortest line through there. Smack the curb. <laughs> right. Two least favourite corners on the track. So the first one we can actually break quite deep into this one. I'm going to hold fourth. And then I think we're going to switch from left to right foot braking for this one. Into third. There we go. Baby carousel next. Once we get there. Dab a break. Get her into the carousel. Nice. Oh, nearly kicked her us, kicked us out on the exit. Right, on the power. Up the hill we go. Right, last corner before dotting her. I think we're just going to be flat. Yeah, completely flat through there. And we're flat all the way round. If we are, we might be able to take fourth on the exit. In fact, I'm taking fourth now. There we go. And we're on to the 
the Dottinger Hurst straight. Now this could take a while. So what shall we talk about? I think last couple of cars we've done on here, McLaren F1 GTR and CLK GTR, they're both, what, 300 kph, maybe plus down here. Unfortunately, our speedo says 140, so I don't believe it, but that's all we've got to go on. It's not too bad, though, you know. I've driven considerably slower cars around here. It's getting along here at a decent rate of knots. I think if we go downhill after Bilstein Bridge, I might try fifth and see if there is a fifth. Come on! Going back uphill now, we're losing speed. Come on, little cappuccino. There we go. Right, Bilstein Bridge, downhill. Right, shall I try fifth? There is a fifth! There is a fifth! Hallelujah! Oh, God, she's dull now, though. She doesn't look like she's enjoying it much. Right, go deep as possible. Fourth. Third. Second. Over the kerb. Right, let's race for the final corner. Dab a break, get her in. There we go. Right, finish line. Come on. Right, what time do you think we've done? That's third. There we go. There's the finish line. Wow, that was actually really quite entertaining, this little car. Uh, I, I suggest if you do have the Suzuki Cappuccino, if not, uh, it's in the used car dealership. Go and get it and get it soon. Uh, but I actually really quite enjoyed that. And let's find out what kind of lap time it did. So it did a 10 minutes and 8 seconds, almost 9 seconds. So over 10 minutes. So almost under 10, 10 minutes for a Suzuki Cappuccino, which sounds like a challenge. Like, isn't there one which I can do under 10 in a van? That seems quite interesting. Uh, we're only 9 seconds off that. Well, let's see how it compares to other, other cars that we've done around here. So you can see it's actually near the bottom of the leaderboard. It's about 30 seconds slower than the BMW i3, but faster than the Honda Acti and the bus. So I suppose that's something. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you think you can do better, post it in the comments how fast you've gone. Uh, hey, why not make a video about it? If you didn't enjoy it, that's perfectly fine. Give it a thumbs down and let me know how I can do it better in the future. Until then, goodbye.